90 pips That's looking nice dude see it oh, every yeah. single day it ought to look good all right let's go get this uh an end loader and clear some trails cut down some trees hmm. so tell them what we're trying to do well we need to clear out the woods <laughs> we have to make room uh chuck and jen are dropping off uh, an old RV that they have that we want to renovate and uh, kind of turn into a little tiny house style Airbnb. Make uh, some moonies. Yeah, so we want to park it out here in the woods, but we got to clear our path to get there because we have this trail. We have this alleyway that we use all the time to drive our trucks up and down for firewood, for building materials, and for Brent's debris pile back here. So the goal is to create a path that cuts around this whole thing, around our big boy tree back here. The big boy tree. So we need to clear the debris pile, move it and mulch it and cut down a few of these trees here and we want to create a big loop that'll cut through the woods and back out the other side so so our neighbor lorenzo's letting us borrow his front end loader we're gonna go pick that up and try to get it through the woods we got a lot of widow makers hanging around back here so we gotta be careful it's gonna be a little bit a lot of dead ash. So, any of these trees could fall with, uh, especially with something like a front end loader coming through here. Like, look at this one. That thing is just ready to go. This is my first time over here. Oh, really? Yeah. You know, yeah, I don't know that I've ever been fully over, actually. He said just come on over when we're ready. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that's my thought. If, if for now at least, we focus on opening this trail, and I mean, we could just, maybe we'll open this trail and cut down these couple of trees right here that are at risk of falling where the trailer would be parked. Right. And really. Yeah, so clear all this. Yeah. Clear the the bushes and any dead trees. Uh-huh. And then the, tr the 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 Airbnb trailer can get parked here. Then we can start working our way around to the brush pile. Yeah. That sounds good. So this is where we're going to start. This dead tree definitely needs to come down. Yeah. The leaner. Yeah. So right here. So that's well We'll get this cleared out and hit any of the dangerous dead stuff back here for now. Yeah. Do I'm you? Gonna, yeah, go ahead. I'll I'll have fun getting it through. Okay. To here, and then if you want to hop on and start clearing some of this, sure, I'll help you. And then we can both have fun on the tractor. <laughs> Do you think it'll take both of us to get you through back there? No. 
Because I'm saying if you want to work on just getting it through to the lane, yeah, I can work on. I'll, I'll figure out where I want to put all these logs and start getting them moved. Yeah, let's do it. Word. Obstacle number one: getting the Kubota onto our side. Let's go figure this out. Got to somehow get it through all of this. That started by clearing a path from my neighbor Lorenzo's house, his property, over to our property. Shout out Lorenzo uh, for letting me use your Kubota. Super appreciate it. Uh, you definitely have free chicken eggs coming your way if you're watching this. <laughs> but I'm clearing a trail through my brush pile because my brush pile divides my property from his property. So I had to get through that first so that I could start uh, making the driveway. Um, but I was a little sketched out because there were so many dead ash around. I didn't want to bump into the wrong one and have it come crashing down on me. <laughs> so I was being very cautious and I had never used front end loader with the tooth attachment like this one has. So um, you could see my first couple passes, I just did not have the bucket angled correctly to push the, the debris and the earth the way that I wanted to. But as the day went on, I got the hang of it. Right now, I'm consolidating my brush pile. This is two seasons worth of brush that I dump from my landscape business here on the property because it's pretty expensive when you have to bring it to a brush yard and pay to dump. That can add up, so it's really nice having this property so I could dump for free. Definitely helps with the business. Right now I'm consolidating all the brush so that I can bring a chipper in and I'll make a video of that and post it later where I take this whole brush pile and turn it into nothing essentially so that I can hopefully dump another two or three years before I have to mulch it all up again. So right now I'm just consolidating the brush pile, getting through, and then we're gonna start clearing the road for the gravel driveway. Got the old hard hat on because we're working around a bunch of widow makers. But here's our next challenge to clear a path through here. The previous owner left a huge pile of shingles and like this old refrigerator just like dumped random crap back here. So we got to get all that into the dumpster. Probably not going to do that today, but that is a project that we have to do. But for now, we're thinking of just moving this pile so we can get the the uh, the tiny house RV thing up in the woods. And then, um, yeah, so we got to clear some trees here. And we're going to come out through here. Find out uh, from one of our other neighbors who has lived here for, uh, I think he said like the past 60 years, apparently this area, uh, this parcel of land that we bought, back in the day, people used to kind of use it as like a, a dump site, like a, like a local landfill or whatever. So people would come back in there and dump crap. And so that's, uh, I blamed it on the previous owner, but I, I, it might not have been them. There was a lot of uh, thorn bushes um, and these teeth l just ripped right through them. You can see it's just r ripping it up from the roots, um, which was really fun to just kind of come back here and just rip through all this stuff. Super satisfying. So we're taking down some of these trees 
most of them dead. Unfortunately, we have to take a few healthy ones down, like this one, because it's just right in the way of the brush yard. So Nate took this one down by hand, the old school way. I'm gonna try the old school way on this guy. Let's get these trees down. What tree? So what tree first? We're gonna do this one and that one. down first because this one we want to basically land right there. Yeah, if that's where you want it to fall, then pull right there. Or if you have more space to go that way, just go that way. Yeah, we have enough room to just pull it right towards us. Yep. Okay. Perfect. Don't put any weight on until I get the wedge out. Yeah. Nate Danger. I'm gonna bring it to its demise. midway we had fun cutting down a bunch of trees and now I'm gonna finish opening up the front of the property into our path so we started back there uh, back there and we we're wrapping all the way through the woods and coming out here so 
Let's get this finished up. The next phase of this project, once we got it all cleared and graded, is going to be to gravel it and turn it into a gravel driveway that loops around. That will likely be done in 2023. I'm going to use that as a, a business write-off on buying the gravel because it is for the business to get back to the brush yard. Um, so that's something that we'll do next year, but this is uh, just such a relief having it cleared because I can throw the four-wheel drive on and still use it in the meantime, but the long-term vision is to have it into a gravel driveway. Right now we're just getting it prepped. This is what happens when you try to fell a tree the way that you want it to fall, not the way that the tree wants to fall. Your chainsaw gets stuck. It wanted to go this way. We wanted it to fall on the brush pile. So we cut a, a big wedge in hoping that it, to, hoping to encourage it to the right, but it still went to the left and it, it pinched the chainsaw. So we're gonna try to rope it down. method of roping a tree. What? <laughs> the the rock. rock went flying out. <laughs> wow, this thing just refuses. Come on, baby. Heave! Heads up, heads up. All right, exit, exit, exit. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Woo! That was close. <laughs> ah, we were always five. Well, for you, you went over that yeah, way. I went the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good lord! Save us. Started raining. It was a good weekend. Yes, it was. Yeah.